There's freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? What if I fall? About ready to crack on me, it looks really thin underneath. It's been a long journey as an artist. And at the root of it, it's it's taking risk because I'm always doubting myself and asking myself, you know, what if I fall, what if I fall? One of my main priorities for working outside is kind of just to interact with the environment. And being in Hawaii and on an island, I just felt I needed to get out of my comfort zone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everyone's telling us it's definitely not the safest idea right now. So maybe we'll paint it in Apex, and I'll call you if, if it doesn't get sucked out with the tide in, in time. I knew right when you guys started talking about going on the ice that you guys were crazy. <laughs> It's a little ambitious to do this larger than life ice mural in the Arctic and somehow at the same time make a connection to the Inuit culture. Born and raised here, I'm Inuk, Inuk, the indigenous people of the Arctic circumpolar world. It's been very frustrating. Filmmakers always came up and they've cut out so much which would change the way that I was actually trying to say something. So it wasn't like sitting down, talking to one person, talking to somebody about what is it like up here? What is it really? The Inuit community as a whole, I want to be able to represent them and share what they have on their mind. Sean is, I guess in a way, like a an indigenous brother, a guy who does murals of women in different parts of the world, um, mostly affected by climate change. An immediate connection or respect, I think, when we meet other indigenous people from different parts of the world. For most people, it's about the polar bears. It's not about the people. Well, let's make it about the people. If I can somehow be in a position to influence that message that's given to the rest of the world, that's the most important thing for me. So basically our first scouting mission uh, was trying to just find, get an idea of the ice and kind of find, find the right size. All of a sudden I look around and, and I'm surrounded. So I ended up getting trapped inside, uh, in between I guess the drift ice and the main pack ice. Substance abuse, suicide, so many guys that I grew up with are gone. Seeing that she's watching, watching this world become the way that it is. I always had hope for things to be good for Inuit, for Indigenous people. She gives me more reason to want to fight. To make our, our schools better, our health system, our justice system, our environment, our understanding of what it means to be physically healthy. It's like the most human part of development in my idea.
little uneasy knowing that some of these ice plates are flipping over without notice. We camped on the ice, which was super sketch. It's three in the morning. I don't know, it's taken about 14 hours to find the piece of ice chasing the tides around. We found one place, we got chased out of one place. We might get chased out of this place too, but we don't we don't know. We're just uh, have to try at this point. Long day. <laughs> Do you want me to try to set up your surfboard up here? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's coming up real fast. Dark skin tone, highlight. I need a white. Everything else is kind of disappearing, so we're gonna hope this one stays intact. At least my knees are black and blue. Racing the tides, racing the melting of the ice. We're moving really fast. How much more time do we have till the tide comes up? So we're going in for the next four and a half hours. Yep. Yep. So we're you know, Um. We'll start packing everything up. Let's get everything in the boat. Fuck. Five, ten minutes. This is probably gonna crack. Um, if stuff starts to break up, throw everything in. Jump on my board. Like with the tattoos on my neck, it's, uh, what if I flop? <laughs> what if I flail? <laughs> <laughs> Moment of silence before I went crashing into some rocks. There it is. That's awesome. It's too bad that it didn't last, but that's how the world works, not everything lasts very long. There's a saying in Inuit, it's ayumnamat, and it's basically, there's nothing you can do about it. The ice breaking, absolutely nothing that you can do about that. The message that I wanted to send is, Inuit are very skilled, smart, awesome people and you kind of have to be to survive in, in this environment. 